Now, would you have the nerve to ask your man to give up his bad habits? Well, if reports are, be to be, uh, are to be believed, I'm not well. Um, <laughs> that's exactly what Robbie Williams' girlfriend, Ida Fields, has done. Rumour has it that Robbie has finally slashed his cigarette intake from 60 to 10 a day to keep his missus happy. Sure. And he hopes to eventually stub out the cigarettes completely. Now, a source close to the couple has said it's hard for Rob to say no to the woman he loves at the best of times. And he's promised her that he will crack it. But, oh. ladies, do you, do you think it's a good idea to ask your partner to give up any bad habits? And what habits have you ever been asked to change? Well, I don't, I don't tell Mark what to do, but um, I don't. But he just knows. <laughs> I really <laughs> good don't. I don't. He has given up smoking. He's been brilliant for about three months now. Um, oh. Maybe longer than that. And... Uh, I never said to him once, give up smoking or else, but he gave up, you know, for health reasons more than anything, and I love it that he doesn't smoke anymore, but I, one bad habit just turns into another one. Now, he's on the nicotine chewing gum, which is fine, you know, and he's trying to cut down on that as well, <laughs> but in the when he gets the chewing gum, he chews it, chews it and chews it, and then when he takes it out, he puts, <laughs> puts it back in the, li in the little slot in the chewing what? gum square, and I say to him, what are you saving that for? He goes, I I'm not, it's just I've got nowhere to throw it, so I just keep it in there. And so the packet's like, still looks full, but that's, it's got dirty old like chewing gum in it. It's like chipping a cigarette, isn't it? But I you know how people What's sometimes chipping? save half a cigarette for yeah, later, don't they? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's he's, that mentality. Well, he's not well, saving it for later. There must be another bad habit he's got. Well, you've got sometimes blokes don't understand, right? If they. Toenails, my, my phobia Ooh. is toenails, uh, dead toenails on the floor. Like if you're walking along and you get something stuck to your foot and you pick it off and it's a toenail. <laughs> and that, honestly, that would make me vomit. Oh, that's awful. So I, had to, I did have to sort of you say to him, you know, when he first started coming round and, and staying over and now, and now living there, that I, I just, I can't, I can't tolerate it. Even the hearing him clicking it makes me, makes go through me. Oh, so yeah. in the summer, he has to go and do it on the balcony in the, in the winter. <laughs> And God, God oh, help him God, if I find gone. any on I'll the floor. I'll tell you the other thing. What is it with men when you go in the bathroom? Why is there hair everywhere? Yeah. What do I they know. do? What's the yeah. What do they do? Hair. It's in the sink, it's in the loo, it's in the bath, it's on the floor. What are they doing? How much hair have they got on their body <laughs> to shave off? And why don't they clean it up? I just can't, don't they? I think it's, it's disgusting and it gets in all the bits and everything. And the other thing they do, which is really, is scratch themselves, don't they? <laughs> what is that? Uh, Why they do they with themselves. Talking about their toilet parts, that I've actually I didn't, didn't think... we were, actually, well, but... Scratching yeah, themselves. Oh. oh, no, it could have been anywhere, I suppose. Yes. I'm obsessed. Um, what Paul does, and it really does... I mean, I, I thought, actually, when we looked at this subject, I thought, I've changed more about myself than he has. That's nice. Because he quit smoking, I quit smoking. Um, and then... And I've stopped finishing his sentences now, because that used to really annoy him. <laughs> and... Um, but then I'm starting here, I've got quite a list going. I thought, right, he puts his, his disposable uh, contact lenses by the bed, so I get up in the morning, there's crunch, crunch, like crickets everywhere. <laughs> and then, um, mooning. What? What? <laughs> Who to? Anyone. <laughs> and, uh, or he'll do this thing where he'll just suddenly take his trousers down and stand there and whistle. And I know what he's doing. <laughs> and whistle? Yeah, just like to get my attention. I pretend I've not heard him and I keep looking over there like that. And then he'll slowly walk by like that with his trousers all down like that. Yeah, well, but would you call that a bad habit? Well, yes, because Bo started doing it. <laughs> That's quite funny. Well, er, earlier on, we, we asked you to, to email in if there's any bad habits you want your man to, to yes, change. And you have. Thank you so much. Um, Sherry, you've got uh, one. Yes, this is from Sarah. My husband is 28 and still sucks his thumb. Oh. <laughs> I know. Seven years ago, we agreed that he would give up it up if I quit smoking. Seven years later, I haven't touched a cigarette, and yet he still sucks his thumb. Oh, he only lasted three days. What on earth are you doing? Oh. <laughs> you won't believe this one from Betty. I don't know if I can read it, it makes me feel ill. Hi girls, my man always picks his belly button fluff oh. while, while he's watching the telly. He then, get this, wipes it on the sofa. Oh. But what's worse is that his fingers smell all the time. I wish you'd stop it. I don't leave him, Betty. Just leave it. Oh, move, move. Oh, 
that's something else. That's but then again, so is this. My partner's a disgusting habit of biting his nails. He rips his toenails off with his teeth oh. and often leaves these offending shards around the house for others to find. The last time our 15 month daughter found them, she began chewing them. Oh. That's from Anna. Oh, that, I was, that's divorce. That is divorce. And I